today I come to you with the unboxing of my new Love Every kit, uh, which is the play kit of uh, months 9 to 10 called The Explorer. So here we are with Mr. Orion, who just turned nine months yesterday. Oops, okay, and he's all over the place. Uh, hold on, let's turn this off because this is too loud for the video. But right now, Orion, I'm gonna show you the new toys that we're gonna get from the Love Every Boxes. So, so far I've been very happy with the subscription. It is a little pricey, but I think that the, the toys that come every two months are definitely worth it. It's interesting because every box is tailored to a specific age. Um, but I, for my son particularly, I think uh, that I, all the boxes are a little bit more advanced for him. Um, because uh, for example, the previous box that was uh, seven to eight months, um, he now is discovered, like he's now able, for example, this, he, he now is able to put the ball in the, in the hole. And I think he accomplished this like a couple of weeks ago. So this puzzle that was in the previous box, he likes to take this out and chew on it, but he doesn't realize, he doesn't understand. Actually, I'm, I must lie, a few days ago, I, I saw him, he was trying to put it, but obviously not place it to be exact. So maybe that's enough. Maybe the fact that he's, you know, experimenting with the idea that, uh oh, this is supposed to sit on this or somehow fit in there um, is good enough. Okay, anyways, without further ado, let's go open this uh, new box. I'm so excited. I have not opened it. I've, uh, I've broken the seal, but I have not opened it to look inside at all what is the, in there. Um, but before I do, please make sure you press, you click on the subscribe button and uh, give me a, a, a thumbs up if you can. And let's get right to it. So here we go. The Explore Love Every Play Kit. Ooh, Orion, you want to sit? Okay, now he's playing with a one piece puzzle. So uh, I want to show you guys how neat the package is. You see how neat that is when you open it? It's really nice. They do such an excellent job. And then once I take this out, which again, this is the map of telling you what you should for, you should use first and all that. And then here is how beautifully organized everything is. Okay, so we're gonna follow the map. And it says the first thing you wanna introduce is the how I feel book so let's see how i feel okay so here we have another nice hard book there we go with big pictures of kids same kids as the first book as i can see or some of them at least uh-huh so it's all about emotions uh so teaching your child what the different emotions look like Okay, so this is very cool, very nice, big pictures. They really, truly do like seeing big pictures. So I like it, that's the first thing. Stainless steel jingle keys. Okay, let's see, let's see, they're in this box. Ooh, oh, my doggy. So here is the stainless uh, steel jingle keys. He's gonna love this, I know he will. Look, look. <laughs> okay very cool next up we have blocks it says first block these are actually hard wood wooden boxes yeah i mean not too heavy not definitely not too heavy but yeah there we go so um and different colors very pretty colors as always next up on the map is bright and light play scarf Ooh, so with this you can play peekaboo and ah, he heard peekaboo and he knew the joke. Ah, peekaboo! <laughs> ah, peekaboo! So this is very nice, very pretty. I love the colors and you put it in this tube and you can have fun showing him right now. he's He just woke up from a nap and he's like a little bit occupied with his already existing toys doesn't show much excitement or interest in what i'm doing and up next we have your clear tube 
with stacking rings. There we go. The ring with the two. Now, what I've come to realization too is that it is something that I read somewhere as well. I can't remember if it's a love every uh, recommendation or not, but is to not give all the toys all at once. And of course, this has a map and tells you when and how to introduce things. And I do try to follow it as much as I can. But I, I just also learned in the process, and I am a first time mom, so I am learning a lot as we go, is that they get bored, right? So if, so every night when I put them to bed, I, try, I come to the playpen and I try to like hide certain toys and bring out other toys that he hasn't seen in a minute. And when we talk about he hasn't seen, we're literally maybe in a few days or a week, right? So just put some toys aside, hide them, and then like present to them again after a few days and then he'll be excited about those toys so moving on here then we have the Montessori egg cup so there we go so I'm assuming it's all about taking the egg and putting it in the cup now would it be bad if I actually use this for real eggs <laughs> I need one of those <laughs> and then we have little grip canister sets okay so another uh series of cups but this time uh the top the lid okay so there are holes in each of these cups just like the previous box with the other cups um you guys can see in the other review he's checking out the scarf now by the way um and here we go some more holes so what i did with the previous cups from the, the other box um oh by the way the lids on these screw on or do they not hold on okay this one doesn't screw on this one just goes up oh so it's like that okay and then this oh so every lid is different that's cool oh wow look at him <laughs> You can't see, but he just literally went for this this tube with the rings. So this one opens like that, okay? And I almost accidentally almost broke this. Okay, and then and then the this one, as we said, oh shoot, ah, I'm getting confused here. This one goes right on. So it's about learning how different lids open. Now, I do not expect him to do this anytime soon. And it is late in the timeline, and that makes sense. But yeah, there's no way he'll be able to figure this out soon. Last, we have the stainless steel tip and turn with baby ball. Oh, I think he's gonna love this. So here we go with the ball, and you can see it like turn around. So now, with every love, every box, you do get a book, let's, a booklet which uh, tells you it's like a guide, right? So it gives you ways to play with each of these toys. It explains to you what you're supposed to do. And sometimes each toy can have multiple different functions of how you can you know, play around with them. So it gives you suggestions of how to use them. And then it also gives you, uh, in the beginning, it talks to you about what to expect from your baby for these next couple months. Like what is the baby uh, learning developmentally and uh, what they're ready to do and whatnot. And uh, then, like I said, it gives you uh, ways to play with the game, with the toys that have been given. And then also at home activities, which uh, gives you some ideas that uh, expand further uh, from what the boxes have. Uh, just like giving you some tips as to how to play with your child. Like for example, the last box, uh, one of the tips that it was giving me was um, to put in a bag, a Ziploc bag, like ice and have him explore the uh, ice cubes in the Ziploc bag. So, you know, we did that and it was fun. So that's it for today. Um, I'm very excited for the new box. Uh, definitely looking forward to using these toys and I think he is too. So my phone ran out of space and my video just suddenly stopped recording. Anyways, but lucky enough that we were at the end of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And again, please subscribe, click the like button, and I'll see you guys at the next, uh, next uh, review. Okay, thanks. Bye.